the 69th annual Morrison Cove Dairy Show with the, the secretary here, the guy in charge, uh, Tom Ritchie. So, so tell me about the dairy show every year. The dairy show has been going on for the last 69 years. Primarily, it's a lot of exhibitors from Blair and Bedford County, but we also have from Huntington and Fulton and some other places from year to year. Um, it, it has started primarily as just a dairy show. We do have some other fair exhibits now as well, but this started a lot of years ago to highlight the dairy industry in Morrison's Cove. So you have, um, it's all week, and, and what sorts of contests do you have and events going on? You know, on Monday night, we have a junior showmanship contest where uh, members are about FFA and 4-H members are evaluated on their showmanship. Uh, we have the junior show today for 4-H and FFA members. We have open shows the next two days. And on Friday, we have the district show that qualifies youth for uh, the state show in Harrisburg in September. So is the district show the biggest one? It's fairly big, and it's, it's one that draws from a broader area. We get people from Somerset County and Cambria County and more, more counties than we have here at the show. Okay. And then what are the awards that the people win for, for having the, the cows, and what, what are the qualifications? They do get premium money. They get ribbons and trophies. Um, it certainly doesn't pay the bills to bring the cows out. They do it, I think, a little bit for the recognition and also to highlight their animals. They're proud of what they raise, and it's a tough time in the dairy industry right now, so we appreciate all our exhibitors coming out because it really is a tough time to, to take the extra expense to do that. Notice there's a lot of there's a lot of younger people here too. So you like to get young people involved. Is it is it mostly young people that are involved? Is that what you're you're striving for? We have a lot of 4-H and FFA members here. We do also have open show exhibitors with adults essentially. But uh, there's always been a good focus on the young people because that would be the next generation, and so we try to encourage that as much as possible. So do the people here raise the cows themselves and they're, they're their own cows and all the cows here um, and all, all the, the, the farm animals here, they, they belong to these people and they bring them in, right? Yeah, these aren't animals that are going to sale after the show or anything. These are their animals from home. They're milk cows and they're heifers for the future. Um, and most of them are raised on the farm from birth. Uh, some of them are purchased animals, but a lot of them are, are you know raised as calves and brought up here as calves, yearlings, and then finally as cows. And then you said there's a lot of cows here. How many? We had 190 entered, um, probably on the grounds, probably 150, something like that. Um, that's down from previous years, but uh, the dairy industry is going through some tough times, as I said. But, uh, you know, we, we, we're pleased with the quality of the animals we have here. Okay. Yeah. And then, do you do you bring out um, do you bring out your animals as well? I, I, I grew up on a farm when I was younger, but I, I don't. I'm an ag teacher here at the high school in, in uh, Martinsburg. Um, I don't have animals here, but I've been working with the show for a good while. And um, yeah. So, what does a person do in preparation with their cow uh, before they bring them here? They would have to train them to lead, uh, be cooperative in the show ring, get them cleaned up. Uh, a lot of clipping going on. It's amazing how much fitting and clipping. Uh, to get an animal ready to go into the show room. All right, nice. So, um, and then uh, another question I wanted to ask you was, what made you what made you get in involved with this, and what other organizations have you been working with? I started with I grew up. It was a 4-H member, and then an FFA member, and then an ag teacher, and I showed here many many years ago. Uh, and it's you know just kind of part of what I do as an ag teacher. Yeah. All and, right. Yeah. And we have a committee of 15 people that that help run the show, so they're they're the ones really the driving force yeah. behind it. So it probably takes a long time to set this whole thing up. It's planned basically a year out, yes. Yeah, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Tom. We're at the Morrison Cove Dairy Show. It's the 69th annual, and it's happening all week, so come on down here.